So I don't have my tripod because I'm going to make a GoPro video today. But I'm here at Liberty Mountain and we've been here before. But I was just coming into the parking lot here and uh, just take a look. Here, hold on. See, so that's the that's the beginning of, of the trail. And you see I'm hiking up the mountain. Now, over here is the actual uh, soccer fields and uh, Boy, I tell you, Liberty has got, <laughs> if you want to go to school and you're into sports, they got everything you can ever imagine. Now, when I get over to the parking lot, see, now what I'm doing is, you know, you come down uh, Lynchburg Expressway and you get to uh, uh, Candler's Mountain Road. And then you just come down Candler's Mountain Road, just keep going straight, and then it, it bears to the right. You'll go by like a shopping center and then just keep going. And then it, the road kind of bends on around and then it comes up... Uh, what is that Candler's uh, Candler's Avenue there and uh, and then you just make the first left into this sports complex okay now the reason why I'm you can part you can continue going up right here and, and that'll take you up to the snow complex and I'll get some more on the video of that that which is it's a it's actually you know a, a synthetic snow facility that uh, that Liberty built it's uh, absolutely uh, insane so we'll get We'll get some more video there, and then I'm, the, with the GoPro, I'm going to make a hiking video today. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's get going. See, now this is the reason why I come here to park, because uh, this is the Liberty Mountain Intramural Complex parking lot. Uh, so, towing and forced at phoner's expense. Now I can't imagine. I mean, I guess I got to be gone by 4 p.m. and I should be, but. Uh, you can see the sports complex here, and, and the reason why I come here is there's never anybody in this parking lot, you know. So you pretty much have it all to yourself. Now, where the trail starts is right here, trail to the intramural fields, and so we're going to go go up there. And you see, the reason why I like parking here also is because in Florida, you know, it's, most everything's flat, okay. And here, I'm actually hiking up a mountain, and because I'm not used to it. That'll get my heart rate way up, and that's what the doc says I gotta do. When we start this hike, I mean, the heart rate's gonna go through the roof climbing that daggone mountain, and, uh, and that's why I do it. That's why I park right here. Let's get going on the hike. Now, I don't know if the video can convey the steepness of this climb. There's the road we were on right down there, and uh, man, he's listening to me. I'm just not used to it. I mean, you can go to the gym, you know, pay $15 and probably get a pretty good workout. Or you can come here and hike this flipping mountain and I think you'll get an even better workout. Plus you get to enjoy the beauty of the woods. Now this trail, this is the intermediate, or intramural trail to the intramural park. It just continues a much of more of the same straight up the mountain here. So I'll, uh, I'll get another clip when we get to the in a real complex and I catch my breath because this fat old fool is not used to climbing mountains. All right, let's get there. Still climbing up the, uh, the trail. I wanted to show you this. We did this on a previous video. This trail winds around, a little bit easier hike, winds around the side of the mountain and takes you really around to the back, what I call the back mountain trails. And if we did that on a previous video, I don't, I don't know if I posted it or because sometimes I lose my videos if I don't post them right away. I'd have to go back, but so this is wrong. This is all new because <clears throat> I that's that was the video I made the last time I was here. So now we're making this video. So we're going to see a whole what I call the front side of the mountain. So we're going to we're going to get there eventually. All right. You can see right up there. I think it's that's, that's the parking lot way up there. All right, let's keep going. Oh, well, I got a good view of the school right here. I thought I'd just pause for just a second, plus I could use the rest. But I don't know if you can get the magnitude of the size of Liberty University. And of course, there's the football stadium way over here. And I can't even show you, but on the, that's right, there's a highway that goes, well, you can kind of see the cars down here on the highway. That divides the university. And on this side of the highway is all uh, dorms. And I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't even know how many, I mean, it's thousands upon thousands of students that are in those dorms. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a view 
of the university from right there and then we'll get another clip when I reach the top of or the uh, park parking lot area for the intramural complex and then we'll get that on the video and then we'll get on the trail one of the problems with hiking this time of year is you don't know what's underneath those leaves and so right back here I came through a bunch of leaves and there was a big rock underneath there and it slipped underneath my foot I almost went down man I tell you this fat old guy so I'm coming to the top we'll get a clip uh, of an, I'll walk up to the snow complex I want to show you that I, I showed you that in the last video but you might not have watched that one you're gonna want to see it it's uh it's extraordinary so as I near the top and I apologize for the wind noise I'm trying to keep my back to the wind but you can see there's another trail I've never hiked that one there's just you can hike around here for days and days and days and never get all these trails in so anyway you know I won't obviously make a trip video of every single trail but uh, we'll try to give you a feel for what it's like hiking around Candler's Mountain near Liberty University all right so here's the snow complex from a distance I apologize for the wind noise yes I'm still trying to get a dead cat I'm pretty broke you know my wife moved out and divorced me she took a lot so I just I got to be real conservative in what I buy these days but you can see what I'm talking about here see this is completely full and there's another parking lot over here now there are parking spaces you're always gonna find a parking space but a plus you know like my car's brand new <laughs> I don't want to risk it for anything so I, just, I stay I mean when I go to the grocery store you'll see my car on the other side of the parking lot as far away from everybody as I can get because I don't want somebody hitting me in the parking lot or anything but let's get on up here and I'll get you a close shot of what the snow complex looks like just as I'm getting near the snow complex here's another trail I've never done trail to monogram and there's two people actually walking up the road here but it looks like there's a trail that goes off this way uh, that's called dirty ridge it's uh says 1.9 miles like I said I mean you just come here and hike and hike and hike and hike and hike and hike but uh let's get the lower 40 first and then I'll go over to, to the to the upper 40 or the the upper complex hold on cats so and the wind noise all right I'm trying to cover up for the wind noise here sorry covering up the camera but this is the lower complex now you can see you know even here it'd be kind of fun I mean you got these little obstacles and stuff man when I was a kid I would have really enjoyed this and this is where I guess this is the learning complex I suppose it's what I would call it or the lower lower 40 here and then look this a, is that a trampoline over here yeah yeah they even got a trampoline but that'd be fun wouldn't it holy moly and just got all that padding around that was the problem that we, we had trampolines when I was a kid but we never had all that padding and we would when you hit that bar that goes around the trampoline it hurts like a son of a guy all right let's get on up to the upper upper areas but yeah you can see the beginner sign right over here that's what they're showing you all right so this is the left side of the uh, snow facility once again more things to do tricks and stunts on and then uh, of course but this lift is closed so maybe they've got this portion shut down but you can see man I mean this is, it would be intense doing this it seems to me though that carpet would just give you rug burns when you fell but who am I maybe you just wear special clothing of some sort we do have some kids over here which I can't get their faces on the video but uh, from a distance might be able to show you what it looks like when they come down the mountain so this is the top of the mountain I have seen people in here with their laptops I mean if, if I was going to college I mean look at the look at the moose head on the wall there's a coyote mounted there I guess that's a grizzly bear there and then black bear a couple of uh, ram's horns there oh there, there there you go look at that that's a cool that is a grizzly bear right there uh, and then of course over here check this out there's a I guess that's a polar bear mounted on the wall there wow and then they got whatever that is I guess that's another another bear but anyway this would be a cool place to come you just use your laptop let's uh let's get outside and show you the kids going up the uh, escalator here see them going up isn't that cool here here's a couple here they're all heading up so let's see if we can get one clip of them coming down well the parents might not like that at least I can get them going up you can you can picture I'm wasting too much video here at the complex we'll just get on the trail and get going because I don't want to I don't want anybody getting mad at me for for having their kids on the video all right let's get going so this is the trail to Hideaway that's the uh, zip line complex with the pond and fishing and kayaking and canoeing and everything else and we did this on the last video I came up that because I got lost on the back side of the mountain and so we got that on a previous video so I was going to hike over to Hideaway just to show it to you 
but I happen to know, or kind of know, that if we hit the trails over here, God, I apologize for the wind noise, the wind is really blowing, I'm trying to keep the camera behind me. We're going to go up here and just hike around that side of the mountain, and eventually I should make my way to Hideaway, just doing some new trails. So unfortunately we can't do that again, I don't want to, I try not to repeat myself on the videos, let's get going. Here's the trail map. Now, one time when I was here, I was really looking for a workout. This looks kind of like a trail, and I went straight up the mountain, and there's actually a cell phone tower complex at the top of the mountain there. But let's look at the, uh, the trail map real quick. So that we see here's Fallwell Road. That's what comes up into the, uh, and see that goes straight down. That's where we were, we're right here. So you go straight down Fallwell Road and all the way to Hideaway Lake. And uh, that's why I didn't take that because we've already done, well, I think it came in either here or here. And that's what we hiked the last time I was here. So I'm trying to see which way I'm, I'm going. Trail too far. Uh, I'm looking for the road. Where the heck is the road? The city of Lynchburg. Anyway, there's, there's a trail off to the right over here that just goes down by the road. I don't want to do that one. And this is a heavily biked trail, this lake trail right here. I'm trying to find it. Here it is. Here's the lake trail. See, it parallels the uh, Fallwell Trail. So what I'm going to do, I guess I will go over by the road and then up in here somewhere. We'll make a left and just come up one of these trails and see the, let's see, where is the hideaway again? That, oh, here it is down here. So if I go, all right, well, we'll just hike around. I'll get it, and then we'll come back and see where the hell we went. Because nothing nothing better than getting this. Here's Monogram right here. Remember that? We showed, showed you that on the way in. So that's what that does, Monogram Road. Okay, all right. Here we go. Now, I don't know. A long time ago when I did this, I'm not sure this was called the Mike Donahue Trail. It says 1.2 miles, but you see the road right down here. That's why I don't like this trail, because it goes right by the road. And then that's a, there's a sign that tells you all about who Mike Donahue was. But we're not going to stay on this trail very long because it's really not much to it, in my opinion. Well, look here. I don't know if it's uh, something going off to the left here. No, I don't think that's a trail. No, we'll just stick on this, and then uh, as soon as I... I swear that looks like a trail, doesn't it? That would be nice. Let me give it a try. Don't know if you can see it. They got past me before the camera cut on, but they got actually got a dog running with the bicycles. That's the first time I've ever seen that. You know, the dog's not on a leash, but it looks like a friendly dog. I just think that's cool that you can mountain bike with your dog, man. That is awesome, isn't it? All right, that's it for a uh, video on this trail, because this is basically what it's going to look like until I can make a turn back into the forest. And like I said, I didn't want to do this, but the other trail was just going to take us to the hideaway complex, unless I've made some twists and turns. So um, we'll get uh, we'll get some video when I make a turn on this trail. I wanted to show you the trail came up onto this road. Now you can see Liberty's got the money, man. That road is well maintained. That's all fresh gravel. But it more or less just comes across, and then we got a sign here. Got somebody jogging, trying not to get him. I'm still on the Mike Donahue Trail. So here it is right here. All right, let's keep going. So this is what I'm talking about. That's why it's a 1.2 mile trail, because look at this. And I have a feeling that's just gonna take you right back to the, uh, to the complex. So since we're trying to get lost here in the woods, I'm gonna go this direction, because uh, this is, I don't even see a sign, but this is more or less like a road. Now I know I've been on this before. I don't think I made a video of it, but uh, this will be, this is kind of just a, you're hiking down a, a dirt road uh, for a while until I see another trail and uh, we'll try to go right. That'll keep getting us further and further from the, um, the uh, sports complex or the snow complex or whatever you want to call it. But now, but now you see we're kind of getting back into the woods. Car noise is uh, diminishing. The wind, uh, luckily the mountain is blocking a lot of the wind so I bet the audio is a lot better on it now. Like I said, I'll get a dead cat. I, I just broke right now, people. I don't make any money on these videos. These are just for a hobby, and uh, hopefully people do get some pleasure out of watching uh, these hikes. Uh, you know, I don't know if you'd ever come to Virginia, if somebody might, might that watches these videos, and then they can see what's available. All right, let's keep on going. So, you know, there's something I've never been on. I can't even imagine mountain biking that. But somehow, you guess you pick this trail up over here and come down that hill, and then there's a jump right there. If I'd found that, we could have hiked it. I've never been on that trail. I don't know how I would get down there though. I'm not gonna climb down through these leaves to get there. Maybe we'll see a right-hand turn that we can take and get on that trail just because it's one I've never ever hiked before. I've certainly hiked this road before. Hey, funny story for you guys while I'm, I'm hiking, you know, so I, 
I realized that, uh, well then, <laughs> I don't get it, man. I guess people are just completely unprepared for, you know, a nuclear holocaust or anything or any sort of catastrophe. So, you know, I brought rechargeable batteries. Well, I was in such a hurry to get up here because I thought my mom was dying. I left my battery charger at home. So I, I vast around, I said, does anybody got a battery charger or a battery tester? Nobody. I bet I've asked about 10 people that I know here in Lynchburg. Not one household has a single battery charger or even a battery tester. I don't even know how that's possible. How can you be so unprepared for, you know, the apocalypse? I mean, I thought, you know, that's, I'm so I'm just throwing that out to you. Well, anyway, the story goes, so I ordered another charger because I said, well, it wouldn't hurt to just put one in my computer backpack permanently. And then I boarded uh, some set of batteries because with Amazon, I'm, I'm not Amazon Prime anymore. I just, you know, you get over $25, you get free shipping. So, and then I ordered some batteries and I had two windows open. And I guess I oh, put the order in the wrong damn window. So the batteries are sitting on my front porch in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> not to me and the charger hopefully is still sitting there if it's if they're still there when i get back to florida but uh that just tells you how stupid i can be i sent them to the wrong damn address now i had it i know that i changed the address in one window it was just because i couldn't get it get it the order right and and so i'd opened up another window and i did not know it had defaulted to my florida address so i ain't got no daggone batteries uh, no, I do have the GoPro charger, so that's why, of course, the phone, I can charge the phone, but I can't uh, use my, my Walkman. Or, and, of course, all the batteries in my mom's house, they're all dead. And You think I'm going to go out and buy a bunch of alkaline batteries when I've got, you know, about 50 rechargeable batteries? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to spend the money. And I can do without my music for until I get back to Florida, probably, hopefully, late, late next week. Bye-bye. So I saw somebody down there walking and said, there's the trail. And I don't know how to get down there, but there's a little bridge going across it. That would be a fun trail to hike, you know, but I, I've been stuck on this road for quite some time with no detour off of it. At some point, I got to cross some sort of trail so that I can, you know, get off of just hike. I mean, it's kind of boring hiking just a dirt road. I want to get on these trails, man. All right, let's just keep on going. So we are really getting lost now. So there's a dirt road we just came down. Uh, you can see... There is a turn to the right. I'm hoping that's going to take me over to that trail that I was seeing. And then you could go this way. I mean, that looks like a pretty good hike too. Um, but there's no identifying markers. I'm literally lost back here in the woods on Candler's Mountain. Uh, just taking rights and lefts. And that's, you know, that's when you really get yourself lost is when you've taken so many turns that you just, let's see, was that a left or a right or a right or a left, you know? But, uh, and then of course, you know, it's good that they have the trails marked, but it would be nice to, if they would put on the on the signs, you know, two sports complex or two uh, hideaway, you know, on each sign. That way you could get back here and just get lost and then eventually work your way back to where you need to go. And that's, uh, as much as I enjoy being lost, the problem is when you get really, really tired, because you can see I'm going downhill, uh, then I got to find my way back. And that's when, that's when it really hurts, man, when you're hiking. Because, I mean, you feel the pain on your way back, especially hiking uphill, you know, and especially a lot of times the hikes will turn into a lot bigger hike than what you had planned. I mean, I'm planning on a, well, we'll see how long I make it, but, uh, you know, sometimes when I get lost back here, you know, what I think was going to be just a couple, couple, two, three hours turns into five. That's why you got to get here early. You know, I got here about noon, you know, and I, when I say early, I mean, that's, that's about the best I can do because I'm always looking for a bathroom. But uh, so anyway, look at here and see, this has got a little bridge going over. Now, I, I have never, ever been on this trail and it's not marked in any way, shape or fashion. So I have no idea where I'm going, folks. Let's just keep on going. Okay, so we finally got to a trail. This is that lower trail that I was telling you I was looking at from the road. I don't know what deep hollow one half marathon means and why that's screwed into the tree. And I have no idea where, see, that's what I'm saying. It's just this trail too far. Now, is this gonna take me to Hideaway? Is this gonna take me somewhere? You know, I don't, I don't know. And that's why when, when you get back here, it'd be nice if they put two sports complex or two Hideaway. And that way, when you're on these trails, at least you know, that you're going in the direction that you want to go. Now, right now, I'm pretty sure I'm getting further and further and further from the sports complex, and eventually we're going to have to hike back, but you can kind of see. See, now, this is what I like. I mean, this is, we're on a trail next to a creek. Absolutely beautiful. You know, you're getting to see Liberty Mountain in the wintertime. I mean, in the summer, this place is astounding. I mean, what a treasure Lynchburg has, I mean, in this. Uh, you know, I wish, 
I wish I wasn't so such a fat, out of shape old man. This, this would be some fun mountain biking. But now being old and fat, and I, I can't, I can't do these trails. Even though this is not that crazy a mountain bike trail, uh, it wouldn't be too bad. But anyway, it's just going to kind of wind through the woods here, probably. If I get to something unique. I mean, this is unique. I hope you're enjoying the footage here. Plus the wind, there's absolutely no wind, so I know my audio is just fantastic at this point. So, because uh, I do have the media mod on the uh, GoPro. I did bring extra batteries too, so this will probably be a, a two or three video set going up on uh, YouTube and Rumble. I plan on taking a lot of footage today, because like I said, we're gonna get, well, we are lost at this point, and we're gonna really wind around back here on, uh, on these trails until I, I, I feel it and then I got to somehow try to find my way back. That's, that's the problem, you know. That's why I keep saying it would be nice on those signs if they'd say two sports complex or two, two, maybe just to another trail. If you had some kind of a map, you could probably figure out where you are. I don't know if I could have grabbed one or not, but I was, I was coming just to get lost anyway. All right, let's keep on going. So I thought I'd get this on the video. Now they threw that off to the side. Obviously this was a repair job. But I tell you what, there are crews that come back in here and they really, really work on these trails, you know. Uh, you can see this wood is pretty new. Um, and I've seen them back here, you know, they're constantly, the city of Lynchburg, Liberty University actually maintains its trails. And, uh, the, you know, if they see like a, a, an area that's muddy, you know, they'll come in and put down, uh, put down some boards or rocks or whatever they got to do to keep these trails, uh, you know, passable without getting yourself muddy or, uh, you know, falling in a creek or whatever, you know, that's, uh, so my compliments to Liberty University, they do keep the trails very well maintained let's just uh I, i'm pretty sure i'm just getting further and further and further what i'll probably do on the way back <laughs> if, if i ever come to a landmark that i know where i'm at just like Falwell road for example is just going to take you right back to the sports complex or take you over to hideaway so if you if and when you ever get to that that road you're on your way home but uh as far as everything else back here i don't you know i don't know where i am I, and this is a big mountain I could be getting, you know, further and further from Hideaway and Fallwell Mountain. But uh, anyway, let's just, uh, we'll keep going. Uh, if I see a trail moving to the left, we're going to take that because uh, I do want to start looping back in some fashion. At least I think left is back. So there's the sun I'm trying to think. So to the left would be, uh, well, here we go. There's a trail right here. Current location, Q6. If you had a map, you would know. So here's a trail moving left. I didn't want to move left quite so soon. See, once again, deep hollow, one half marathon. Don't know what that means. So uh, let's see what this trail is. This is Spirit. That's 0.9 miles that way. Well, let's keep going. It's, it's, if we see another trail moving to the left, we'll stay on the trail trail too far for a little while longer. I didn't want to didn't want to loop back or start looping, but I think is looping back uh, so early on in the hike here. We've only been out maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours, something like that. So here's another, look at this, you know, this is what I'm talking about back here. Here's another trail that's going up that way. Well, right up that hill, whoo, that'd be a tough mountain bike. So, but let's, uh, like I said, we, I can see where the sun is. Sun's in the west. I, I'm pretty sure I want to go east. So right now we're kind of moving, uh, well, let's see, that'd be, I think I'm moving south. So I believe, I believe, hard to say. Should have brought a compass. There you go. So you know, this is smart. You know, they could have just removed this log, but instead they made it a fun little obstacle for a mountain bike to get over. Sometimes, you know, the, the guys that are really good, you know, and you could see, you could just go around it if you wanted to. But if you wanted to attempt that jump right there, that would be good. Just wanted to make a quick clip. I'll show you that and uh, just say, uh, We've been we've been going for quite some time. Um, we may I may have to turn around because I'm getting I'm heading still continuing what I think is south, and uh, it's going to be a long hike back. I can tell you that. Plus, when you get those wobbly legs going down the side of that mountain, you know that little gravel path that we came up when we first started the hike uh, that gets real tricky, especially on those leaves. Those leaves can slide on that gravel, and when you're wobbly, you know I'm. Don't want to take a tumble down the side of the mountain. See, just hit a rock there. All right, so that's uh, 
just a little something to see. I thought that was a nice touch to give the mountain bikers a little challenge there if they want to take it. If not, that you can just go around it. Let's keep on going. Well, uh, here we go. Now, isn't that nice? Boy, that is, a, that is one nice bridge right there. It looks fairly new, too. And that rock down there. I don't know if this is a trail going off to the right, but I do know one thing. At least I'm getting across the creek, and then hopefully uh, there'll be a left-hand turn, and we'll start heading back east. I just don't want to keep going to the south, because I'm getting the, the sun's still on my right-hand side, but you can kind of see what the trail is looking like. And you know, see all this gravel and everything? I mean, they had to bring this back here, probably, maybe with a four-wheeler or something. Um, that's what I'm talking about, because I bet this was washing out really bad. And they did all this just to just to keep the trail and if I hate hiking on this gravel I do I don't like that but I understand why they had to do it so let's uh, let's just keep on going 